Hello, we're here with some more Doom Snap Map, and today we're going to do Antivirus by J.R. Crash. Funny enough, his, you know, this creator's map, Psychotron, which is really bloody good, was actually the first Doom Snap Map level I've ever done on my channel, which is kind of crazy. And this was another requested one from J.R. Crash himself. And knowing the stuff he makes, this is probably going to be on a double feature, just because oh, the, blo the bloody talent on display is crazy. But 45 minutes, bloody hell. Uh, map ID BVS453EB. There we go, let's get into it. You now I'm trying to cut down on the preamble, so I I I'm not on this menu. Boring, boring you to tears and shit like that. Want to get, you know, just do the setup and get straight into it as fast as I can, and then just waffle shit during the video. You know, that's just kind of what I do. It's, I guess you could say, it's a talent of mine, just waffling shit. I mean, that's basically what you gotta do when you're making these videos. Unless you're like other creators where you just don't talk for like ten minutes straight and then you, you make a. You make a comment on something and then don't, don't talk for another five minutes. Holy shit, take no prisoners, prisoners, take no shit. Oh, this is fucking metal. Hell yeah. Antivirus. Do- <laughs> I think we've got some drunk marines in this core. I don't think these two are quite fit for the job. I want to. I think it- oh. I want, I don't have enough gimme. Access file. Mission data antivirus. A demonic outbreak has occurred at the computer research facility Skylab. Fortunately, most of the Skylab personnel were able to be evacuate were able to evacuate unharmed. Little is known about Skylab, however. Recent recent intel indicates they are developing some sort of new virtual reality tech. Ooh. Yummy. Following the invasion, it was reported that a mysterious virus has infected their internal network. Skylab's chief network architect, Dr. Lazuli, has provided us with an antivirus program. Destroy the demons and upload the antivirus. Just went a bit mental, really. And oi, 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 oi. Prepare for landing. Oh, I'm fucking prepared, mate. Oh, pfft. That was kind of weird. That looks cool. Look at that, Geo. Oh my. Oh! That was fucking loud game. That wasn't very necessary in the slightest. My, uh. The guns are extremely quiet. It's weird. It's very weird. Yeah. I don't know why, but this sort of, somehow, I don't know why, reminds me of, of uh, Kuva Fortress from the Warframe. Good work throwing out that LZ Marine, Mr. Pilot Man. Remember, you can always come back for supplies. Uh, I could probably use a few. We'll hold here as long as you need. Bam. Game mechanics: ten lives, death penalty, revive fallen teammates. If I get co-op working, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, but please, please do, JR Crash. Co-op is always a good thing. Glory kill, loot drops. It's hard. Oh, like me. And then there are many secrets that can help you <laughs> find spindle shanks. <laughs> oh, I uh, I don't know if I ever will. Main entrance. Oh man, this. You know, I I always say, custom geo is not absolutely is not necessary all the time. But if you can do it, if you can do it, then holy shit, you're in a Oh, you're in a whole new echelon, my friend. So if you, if you ever want to give uh, custom geo a go, then definitely, definitely do that. Now I'm sure that I'm sure there are some creators in in the Snap Map community that have tutorial videos and stuff like that for you to learn. Oh, wow! This hallway. I'm getting Event Horizon flashbacks now. <laughs> I like that film. I, I know a lot of people aren't as warm towards it as I am. Ow. And, all, and, and there's also like a whole Doom 3 mod dedicated to dedicated to Event Horizon. It's pretty good. 
I'm definitely gonna gonna play that for for my channel at some point. Go away, mate. Go away. I might stick it into my um, you know, my Wednesday, my Wednesday videos for Doom Three maps, maps and mods. Because, well, you know, I love Doom Three, uh, Doom Three a ton, and just Doom in general. I have to have constant Doom content, otherwise, what the fuck's the point? I'm totally willing to do to do um, requests for Doom Wads, classic Doom Wads. I'm totally down for that. It is it's just that I'm not gonna go out of my way to find and play them for for my channel. You know, like single levels. Because otherwise I'll just be fucking swarmed in so much options that I would just end up not out. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> I got mashed. Yeah, otherwise I just I just I just wouldn't do it just because there is so much bloody option. That would just get a little too overwhelming for me. So I'll kinda of stick stick to Doom Snap Map and find whatever's requested or interesting. Bam. This is my this is one of my uh this is the second requested map I'm recording right now. I've also got I've got one map from Invisible Abe who who has suggested two maps for me to play which I've already recorded one of them and I'm, and I'm gonna record his second one after this Fuck you man So yeah, if, if you ever want to suggest maps then, you know, send them my way I can't promise I will absolutely do do requests. I really can't promise at all. But I'll keep it in a I have a list of requests. So I'll definitely keep it in there for you. And if I ever want to do requested maps, I can just look in there and be like, oh okay, I'll I'll do some of that. And of course if it's especially <laughs> I love that. Of course if it's especially good, like amazing, then I would definitely put it into the double feature on a Saturday. Sunday, sorry. But if not, don't worry. If I've recorded it, it will definitely be be in the later weeks. So you have nothing to fear. I actually love how the Hellraisers just glow red and dark. It's it's such a tiny touch, but it's it's a detail I love. Health some HP. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to take your arm, don't I? Let's rip your arm off. Splat. It <laughs> just, just, just rolls to the side like, ooh. Oh god. That is some Doom 3 shit, that is. Some monster closet and vents. Come here. Actually, speaking of uh, requests for Doom Mice and Snap Maps, if anyone ever makes a Doom 3 map, if they ever want to pick it up and and give Doom 3 mapping a go, then you know, definitely send me send me the map as a request and if I can get around to it and do it then yeah I'm totally down for that. I'm totally down for that. There we go. Oh that's so cool. Oh the fucking colours. Oh my god. JR, JR Crash, you fucking done it again, my dude. I, I, I'm, I'm not lying. These, it's, it's kind of amazing how just turning the lights off has, <laughs> you know, the main lights has turned us into. Gosh, I'm getting fucking Tron flashbacks. You know what it reminds me of actually? This whole aesthetic. It reminds me so much of Distance. That, that one uh, racing game that looks like Tron. Have you ever played that game? It's fucking brilliant. It's f so good. I would totally, totally play that. Without a doubt. I mean, if they come... I mean, it's out, it's out of early access and has been for a few weeks now. So, if it has a completed campaign and stuff like that, then hell yes. I'd totally be up, be up for that. Hell, if anyone ever makes any racetracks for that after I do a playthrough of it, then I'd totally be down to playing it. 
It's like one of, one of the only racing games I I ever actively play. Because I'm not really into into racing games. I'm not really I'm not really a fan of cars or anything like that. They don't quite do it for me. But distance, oh distance, so does it for me. You can stop toasting me, please. I am not your grilled cheese sandwich. Haha, <laughs> whacking me like a fatty. That's it. Eat your heart out, my friend. But these these colours are just so. Oh hi. This colour is just so amazing. I I do I always appreciate a very striking visual presentation in my games. This definitely does it for me. One game that also um that I love the art style too that so many people haven't played is uh, El Shaddai: Ascension of the Metatron. So many people have never played that game at all. Despite the fact it's one of the most artistically beautiful games I've ever seen. You know, definitely up there with stuff like Journey and Okami. In terms of visual rep uh, presentation. Hello. It's going all red now. Oh, that, that looks amazing. And, and yeah, you can see the, the Hellraisers up there. Ah, oh, I, I, I love, I love the look of this area. Now it really is the Koopa Fortress. Just every, everything is red. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah. Just snipe you fuckers out. There we go. I kind of, I kind of not a fan of... Ah! How do I get up there? I'm not really a fan of how the heavy assault rifle spread so much in Snap Map. I can understand why it does it in the multiplayer, but Snap Map is kind of annoying. Boom. Oh, I can't see him. There we go. Yeah, I feel like there could definitely be a little more ammo. It does feel like there's not quite enough. But you know what, we'll press on. Oh god, too fast. Gosh, I, I, I'm just amazed at the visual presentation. You see, whenever people say that that uh, they only play custom Geo stuff, I don't blame them. I really don't blame them. Because usually the people who do custom Geo stuff know exactly what they're doing in the in Doom Snap Map. You know, they, they, they've got everything down. When they can make amazing custom geo. Ooh, push to open. Yeah, I thought that would open that. Oh no, keep the lights off. Ah, oh. it, it because when you have the lights turned off, it's it's like when you want to get down and dirty in the bedroom. How do I get over there? But yeah, all this detail, like shit. <laughs> it's it's really incredible. I really am impressed. I'm definitely impressed. But yeah, I, I really don't blame people who only play custom Geo. But but I kind of hate it when people sort of either knock. Um, well, I think I got a message on my phone there. Got a message on Kick or something. But yeah, like I don't. I, I hate it when people either knock or have a bad opinion of maps without custom geo. I mean you don't have to do it all the time. And I can enjoy maps without it. It really is one of those one of those topics, you know? Because it, it custom geo is one of those things that really separates the the best mappers, you know, apart from all the other mappers. Because they put in so much time, so much effort, so much detail on every little thing. It's hard not not to admire that. It's so easy to admire that, actually. I can appreciate it. I definitely can. Ear beep. There we go. Whoa. Oh god, you're firing so much. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Bloody hell, it was like the Iraq. Oh. Oh no, I'm in the shit. Shitter. Yeah, he was firing so fast he was like the fucking Arachnatron. 
All you, need, all you needed is the classic uh, super fucking loud uh, plasma rifle noise. It goes boy 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 boy. Makes a little boy noise. And you know, I do I do love classic uh, Doom sound effects so much. Just gotta love the love the pew, the pew pew. That's it. Just slaughter them with toxic sludge. It's one way of getting rid of them, isn't it? I don't know why, but I'm getting weird. Um, I'm getting weird serious sand vibes from this map as well. I mean, I do know I do know quite a lot of mappers like to be inspired by Serious Sam. I don't blame them. Serious Sam is is amazing. Absolutely a series I'm going to, I'm going to do a playthrough of at some point. I might do that after my Fear playthrough actually. I'm not entirely sure though, but I kind of want to go in and do some blind uh, let's play stuff and focus on other non-playthrough projects I've always wanted to do. But it's definitely there, it's definitely there as an idea I want to do. There we are. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't think a combat shotgun would be able to do that. Oh, I hear a dodgy. Where's it, where, where are the dodgies? Oh, okay. We can get out of the shitter now. That's what we're going to call that place, the shitter. Oh god. Holy crap, this... I don't know what this is reminding me of, but I'm getting a weird sense of deja vu here. Uh, what, what, there's one game, uh, Prey, that's it, the original Prey. I don't know why, but this area reminds me so much of the original Prey, and I don't, and I don't know why. That's another game I need to do a playthrough of. I've never actually played through, uh, the Prey reboot myself, though. Oh god, I've, I've got a little bit scared there. Which is kind of funny, because I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the original Prey from the, the playthrough I saw. I, I really do think the original Prey is just so much better. And even though it's going for that um, immersive sim, System Shock 2 style of gameplay, I still think System Shock 2 is better. But Oh, fuck her. Back in the shitter again. But I can tell that it is actually a really good game. It is a really, really good game. It's really well made. Boy, look at that fan. It's really well made and is just so fucking solid. It's just, you know, you kind of think about Prey and there's a, a, a Prey game that's better and an immersive sim in the style that's better. It's just just one of those things, you know? Hello. I'm your antivirus and AI assistant. I'm going to scan the network. This will only take a second. Scanning. Scan the shit out of that. Virus found. Deleting. It's not going to be that fucking easy, let's be honest. Told you. Deleting. Error. It's gonna stick me in inside the digital world now, aren't you? The virus is replicating too fast. I'm not. Pa I'm just not powerful enough. Weak pussy. There's only one way to stop it. Put me in. Put me in the system. I fucking knew it. <laughs> together, together we can stop the virus. If you take care of those demons, I can fix the drive manually. Think you can handle that? Oi, of course I fucking can. Killing demons is my job. As uh, shown by the blood all over me, I do my job well. I'm like a character from Dragon Age. There's no time to waste. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, it's like a game that Simon says. I could play that. Classic Doom music. Oh yes, church hole. I'm gonna fucking get in there, mate. I'm gonna get fucked up, mate, innit? Boosh, boosh, boosh. Okay, I might. Yes, here we go. I really wish I had I had a uh, better guns. I could do with a with a rocket launcher. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. 
Uh, bosh. You have ammo. Ooh. Nine. Eight. Sixty-nine. Forty-two. Eleven. Hundred and three. One thousand. Oh, we're going into binary code now. Look at this, we're going into, into the digital nav nurse. <laughs> okay, that was adorable. <laughs> but we do have the gun over there, I think that's... That, oh, no, that's the... That's the hell shot. Sorry, it took me a million fucking years, but I got there eventually. I kind of wish they made the hell shot secondary fire more useful, though. It's actually kind of useless, <laughs> but you know, at least it's better than than the static rifle. The static rifle is uh, whew. don't get me talking about that. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Fall over. Fatty fat wobble. Fat fat fat. Haste. I can become haste. I'm gonna haste you up and paste you up. Pasty pasty. So I'm pasty white because I because I don't tan. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting a uh, VR flashbacks from the, the you know that one map from Time Splitters Future Perfect. I think it was called VR. That was a really good map. I I love Time Splitters Future Perfect. That's another one I will do a playthrough of in the future. It's just such a fucking good game, man. Isn't it? Wait a minute, it fucking is me! Can you stop being aggressive for one second, Jamie, please? Bloody hell. Really should be using my grenade a little bit more, shouldn't I? Kind of neglecting it a little bit. There we go. You can give me some ammo. Thank you. Oh, it, okay, they do drop universal ammo. So I'm... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Hellshot is on the chain gun thingy. But also gets very little ammo from the... I'm pretty sure it only gets two shots from every little box the enemies drop. That's it, splat splat. Splatteroo. Oh, how did that hit me? That isn't, that isn't fair. That isn't fair in the fucking slightest. Look at me dodging all of your dastardly moves. Eww. Jump edge. Jump edge. That looks cool. We really are in Tron. Ah oh, man, I actually wish there was a whole tile set um, of maps in this VR style for, for Snap Map. Because I can imagine this might have taken a fair while, a fair while to make. Oh god, oh dear, oh shit, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Well, I got myself cornered, to say the least, oh dear. Well, I lost a lot of points there, apparently. Oh bomb. Well, that's okay, we get all our ammo back at the very least. I like to, I like to imagine that's what we spend our 10,000 points on whenever we die. Just to get our ammo, ammo back. And even if you're at full ammo, you have to pay for the ammo again anyway. It's a little bit like Armoured Core, isn't it? Don't know if I would ever do Armoured Core playthroughs on my channel. I mean, I really enjoy the games, they're really fucking good. Especially since they're from the same guys who did the Dark Souls games from Software. Even though they did the Armored Core games well before the Souls games. But you know, most people know from Software from Dark Souls. And mind you, I, I'm actually, you know, you've already noticed that I'm in the middle of my Dark Souls 3 playthrough. And, and, and yeah, I, I love the game, it's very spiffy. Very ragey sometimes, it can definitely get on my tits. But I do love the game a great deal. There you go. You can get a little bit munted there, my friend. You can also get a little bit fucked. By the power of Decker, as it shall compel you. That's cool. <laughs> JMX 5000. <laughs> That's a cool little Easter egg. Neom bop. Oh yeah, I thought it would be like that. I stand on these very thin, tiny bridges. I'm gonna shoot your 
chipset off or whatever it is. But no, it could be RAM. But then again, RAM is like a rectangular stick most of the time. Ooh, what's this? A secret? You can have it. Secret area unlocked. Okay, it's gonna, it's gonna be like a serious Sam secret area. Like you unlock it, but it only meets you halfway. Well, gonna have to find that ain't then, ain't we? Eventually, I guess. Honk, 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 honk. Such cool music, I love it. Oh, oh, maybe it's over there. Maybe, look, let's have a look. Oh, fuck me, I found it. Oh, wait, there's more secret areas. Well, I'm, I am curious, I won't lie. I think this is going to be like another hour long map. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the secret. Little Doom Guy doll. Well, at least you get points out of this one, that, that's something. I feel like I should give you a little bit more and like refill your armor, health and ammo. You know, just to make it a, little, a lot more worthwhile. Because it just kind of feels very paltry, which I don't like. I don't like it when people make secrets, you know, feel paltry. You kind of wouldn't want to make it make secrets exciting, like maybe a whole big ass secret area or something, which is what I'm doing with uh, one of my secret levels on my campaign, where it, where it, the the level is in like a circular motion. It's very cylindrical in de design, in how you, you know, you go up and down, but you're also going around the same, the same sort of area. So with that, oh yeah, I jump up there, don't I? So with that, I just oh hello, die please. Beam. So with that, I'm kind of using. Um, I thought it was a good idea since you're going through the the arenas in a certain way. Why not? Why not? Oh, what the hell's that? <coughs> I need a few minutes to fix the drive. Keep those demons off me. All right. But yeah, I was, I was, I had a good idea where it could be like the Tower of Babel from Serious Sam: The Second Encounter, where you know when you go through that one, that whole area, and then you come back around the the same courtyard you started in. Well, if you go through the door where it started again, you have like a secret round two. To deal with, and you have, then you have to deal with a gigantic ass um, reptiloid uh, Highlander bride, the the gigantic grey ones, which they're fucking they're fucking huge, but they're so cool to fight. I actually love it when, whenever games uh, give you huge enemies to fight. It's just fun, you know. And so many, but, but so many games kind of suck at them. I like how Serious Sam kept it simple, in, in how you just run around and you shoot at them. Sometimes the most simplistic of approaches can be the best thing. Or you can go full on Dragon's Dogma approach, and just go all, you know, a, you know, Bloody Shadow of the Colossus on them. Which is one game that, that, does, uh, that does huge enemies really well as well. I've never actually beaten that game though. I have played it, I have played a bit of it, but I've never beaten it. I don't know why, I don't know why. Because it is really, really, really good. But then people will probably call me a filthy, disgusting little casual. A little casual bitch boy. Okay. Yeah, we can have a little bit of that. Yeah, you almost get no ammo from, from the fucking hell shot. Here we go. I don't want to lose any more fucking points please, I want to keep them. Oh, do the armor, does the armor regenerate? No you don't, ow. Yeah, Barons really do remind me of the Kunums from Serious Sam 3. It's mostly because of how fucking fast they are, and uh, the way their fireballs work is very similar. I think if I do record Serious Sam, uh, the Serious Sam games, I would definitely I think I'll definitely record the the third game first. Now there is actually a very strong reason for that, it's because uh, chron chronologically it is the first game in the series. 
in how it's uh you know in, you know in terms of the time uh timeline it is the early, it is basically the origin of the serious sam story so i'm basically going to record that first because it's a great it's a great game in my opinion i love it it always felt like it oh yeah we did it that'll do it yeah great work marine drivers now virus free thumbs up just one more infected drive left okay mate oh god oh it killed all the enemies for me but yeah as, as i was saying about serious sam 3 like even even though it looks like you know on the surface a typical modern shooter i always felt it was it was trying to mock and parody a lot of the mo modern shooters that came out at the time because they were all so fucking boring you know copying the you know the boring brown modern military shooter trend and i feel like serious sam took that aesthetic and stuff like that from from that trend and turned it on its head while you while keeping it you know without a doubt serious sam and i i do i do like that it's kind of like hey pussies this is what a real shooter is like and then and then doom comes out and i get very very happy although a lot of I feel a lot of people seem to fondly remember Hard Reset a lot more than Serious Sam 3. Which is a real shame because I do think Serious Sam 3 is the better game, without a doubt. I find Hard Reset kind of a frustrating mess. Just wasn't fun to play for me. For a lot of, uh, for a lot of reasons really. It's just kind of bad game design all around in my opinion. But I have heard the Redux version is a lot, lot better. So I've, I would definitely give Hard Reset another shot through the Redux version since I have that. I've never touched it. So that, that would be quite a good playthrough. Be like a weird semi-blind kind of thing since I know it has a lot of new shit. So yeah, def definitely look forward to that. Die! Thank you. Splat. <laughs> Hello, sexies. Oi. Oh, I fucking hate when... Uh, I think that that's one thing you can definitely do, JR Crash, if you're watching this right now, is make make weapons automatically pick up. And if you get co-op going, just you know keep it automatically pick up, but make it respawn after a second or something. It just fixes so many issues when it comes to picking up weapons on the map. This feels like a boss arena. Chainsaw. Oh, if only this game... Oh, if only this uh, snap map had... A... Oh, hi. Oh, God. Uh. It's like speaking... Oh, okay. It's like speaking of uh, Serious Sam, we've got like... It's like, it's like all of a sudden, it's like a whole onslaught of Syrian werebles. Oh, shit, yeah, I am. I'm definitely not the uh I'm definitely not, not the luckiest when it comes to ammo right now. That's certainly a an issue we are dealing with currently. Flat. Flop. Splodge. You hit your face on the pillar. Which means now you lost uh I don't know, an awful lot of brain cells apparently. Ah oh, shite. Well, I do have the frag grenade, so I can use that. Boom. Well, that was completely useless. Whack. Whack. Well, you're gonna charge again. Yes, you are. Grenade, come back, please. I can't live without you. I thought that is probably apt, actually. I might get murdered if I tried doing it. Oh, hello, Hell Knight. Yeah, it really is going all serious, Sam, isn't it? Just having enemies just bouncing from fucking over walls and shit. Reminds me of that one level where you're in some sort of castle or something in Serious Sam The Next Encounter. Which is sadly console exclusive. Even though it's a bloody good game. I don't know why a lot of people hate that one. I mean it really is just 
fucking hell. I mean, it really is just more serious Sam, only on the console. That, that's really the only thing. I guess there are some annoying missions and enemies, like the, like the, like the, whore, the flying horse demons that spit fire at you. They can be fucking nasty. Or when you get to the Atlantis levels, and that there are some vicious enemies in that area. Sorry, it's just just like all of a sudden this whole um, this whole video just turned into talking about Serious Sam and how much I suck it off. I'm not joking though, I really do suck off Serious Sam. <laughs> it's a great series of games. Like if anyone hasn't played them, definitely play them. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Oh god, it's... It's just reminding me of Sick Mod from... From Doom 3. Turning on random encounters in Sick Mod and spawns Hell Knights in... In the... In the void and they start throwing fireballs in at you from the void and you can't attack back. Yeah, I, I, oh god, I have a lot of Doom 3 mod memories. An awful lot of them. And easily one, one of my fondest is, is without a doubt, my fragging free playthrough. I, I, I don't think I ever found anyone else do a fragging free playthrough, like from start to finish. I don't, I, I highly doubt I'm the only one though. I highly doubt I'm the only one. There's probably going to be some weirdo who sucks off Doom 3 as much as I do who's done it. Although, ooh, aye. Although there is a lot of Doom 3 stuff to blast, blast through. It's just a little sad though that it didn't take off like Half-Life 2. Actually, speak, speaking about um, mods not taking off and stuff like that. I'm, and, 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 you know, shit like that. I'm actually surprised that fear never, fear modding never took off. Which is strange, you, you would think that so many people would mod the shit out of that game. I don't know, maybe it just didn't have the tools, maybe, maybe the engine was difficult to work with. Could be a whole host of different things, couldn't it? But it is a bit of a shame, just because... I really do love fear and I really do think it should have, well that's a bit dodgy, I really do think it should definitely have a modding scene, it's just sad it doesn't. Yeah. There's the second drive. This is the last one, unlimited power! It's going a bit, it's going a bit Emperor, Emperor Palpatine for a second there. Unlimited power! Oh god. Now all you need to all you need to do now is just add in a little bit of do it, do it. Yes, let the hate flow through you. I'm sorry, but like when it comes to characters who are really fun to impersonate, Emperor Palpatine is definitely uh, you know Darth Sidious is definitely one of them. It's just so it's so thoroughly entertaining. <laughs> Just because he is such a ridiculous character. Oh, for fuck's sake, no ammo again. Yeah, there could definitely be a buff when it comes to ammo here, but... I don't know, maybe maybe it's not that bad. Maybe... Maybe if you use frag grenades and you keep glory killing, you can get the ammo back whenever you need it. So it might be my fault. But I do feel it could use a little more pickups. It, it just gets a little bit suffocating when you run out of ammo and you can only only use your your uh, the frag grenades and melee because melee and you know if you just use the standard melee it's rubbish. Ooh. Don't know why I clicked it in there. I, I think it's because I thought of melee and then and then I just instinctively d did it. Some complete utter weirdo like that, you know? Bloody hell! Oh, now, now, now you go glory kill. Ow, 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 fuck off. I really don't need your bullshit right now. Oh god, pardon me. There we go. Get some armor, get some stuff, get some shit. Oh my god, how am I stuck on something? It's like I, got, I had all, have all of this room to maneuver and I get stuck in a little pillar. The chances of that is kind of... Silly, really. Silly, Willy. There you go, break your neck. 
I am definitely indeedy the best chiropractor in hell. I, could, I probably could probably make a lot of money off of that. I don't know why I don't. I'm just too legendary, I guess. They can't handle me. Can't handle the sexual energies that I seem to uh, inhabit within my body. Bam, ow, ow, ow. Bloody hell. I don't know how I'm getting hit so much. Because I'm doing everything I can to dodge. Ah, fucking pinkies don't bloody help neither. Look, lost all my armor again, for fuck's sake. I, th I think that I think that that's kind of the thing. Oh, here we go. That does it. Now is our chance. With an exclamation mark, let's destroy the virus once and for all. Before it can regain its strength. Oh, I bet you it's going to be all like... Oh, my best friend Mike is playing NBA 2K19. Which I've heard is a rubbish game, Mike. <coughs> it's kind of funny seeing him this, this uh, up late at night. You, Here we go. I mean, it's like... Oh, what time is that? Let me have a check. It is... Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's nearly half two in the morning, but you know I'm I'm not I'm not. Oh, this is it, Marine. Ah, oh, that binary code just going down. That's such a cool detail. Then you blast it. Oh, it's gonna be like a Psychotron boss fight again. I'd be down for that. I'd be into that, baby. Oh shit off. Ah. I th I think I think I can see the see the issue now with the um with these big open areas. Like if you look if you look at classic I mean classic Doom what if you look at the Doom campaigns areas that they've got like so many twists and turns and side lines and bl uh, blind spots and whatnot that usually you know even though you're moving through and there's so many enemies and there are still wide open areas. Yeah, you, you still have so many chances to funnel enemies, cut them off and, and shit like that, and they they do have the chance to do it to you. Whereas when it comes to wide open areas like this, I don't know, it kind of, I kind of feel like, oh, I kind of feel like I'm sort of at the mercy of, of enemies that can really do a number on me if I'm not, if I'm not careful. But even if I am careful, it feels like they can still get me no matter what. It's, it is awfully frustrating. Because I consider myself pretty damn good at this game. Oh fucking hell, how many mankeys are it? Oi. I keep forgetting that my my LB is fucking dodgy. I swear it's like every time, every time I just, you know, have a new controller or have a new mouse, it just gets really dodgy for no good reason. It's pissing annoying. Oh, and yeah, there was also the thing of them predicting, predicting where you're gonna go. But you know, I am in two minds about that. I like it how they how they can try to, you know, exploit your your pattern and whatnot. But at, at, at the same time, if they're like too accurate all the time, it can be really frustrating. That that was how how um. The enemy AI in Snap Map, um, before all the updates was like, you know, flying enemies just felt so really nowhere near as oh bloody hell, really nowhere near as satisfying as it is now. Just because they will they will perfectly always predict where you're going to go with 100% accuracy, no matter what. So you kind of just just standing in that one spot. You know, just moving side to side. You know, so, so, so they don't actually hit you. So, yeah, that, 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 that... It's, it's little things like that that made Snap Map fucking suck at launch. There we go. Well, then again, I am kind of going in one direction. <laughs> so, you know, gay boy bands. Tee hee, tee hee, tee hee. Oh dear. I mean, I think it's really fucking punishing how when you die, you, you lose 10k points. I think that's really fucking punishing. I mean, if I die three times, then I'm basically down to zero. 
and, and and when you have 10 lives you know you can lose you can lose so much from that there is an awful lot you can definitely improve upon here jr crash but the game the the map itself it's really fucking good it's really fucking good there's just so many little things i should, i think you can definitely do to really improve the experience i feel it's not quite like visually it's easily your best one yet it, it looks amazing visually but oh yay it's coming oh here we go <laughs> that's cool that's really cool rapid fire weapons all right all right mate i can do all that mate i can fucking do all that don't you worry of course i don't have any fucking rapid fire shit yeah, I'm gonna have to get some, get some, some shite. There we go. Uh, yeah, that doesn't do hardly any damage against. Oh dear. There's hardly any damage against them, so yeah, definitely use, definitely use rapid fire. Whereas I'll use, uh, you know, non-rapid fire on these little guys, on these little boys. Um. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I love the noise it's making. It's like it's getting incredibly grumpy at you. It's like a grumpy cat, really, isn't it? That sounds like an extremely angry cat, really. An angry demon cat. Demons, yum! Yes, this whole game's filled with demons, Jamie. Did you fucking forget that? Just a little bit. Probably not. Just a little bit. You. Uh. Die. Go away. Yes, ammo has came back. Came. <laughs> there we go. Just fill it up with with bubbles, lead, and all sorts of horrible things that kills demons. Oh, nearly got murdered there. Ow. We need to get that armor. There we go. We need to get that haste. There we go. Gonna need to get more of that armor. There we are. It fucked off. Oh god. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to avoid the summoners altogether. Boom. <laughs> the repeating effect. It's great. The system has been fully restored. As a token of my appreciation. Yeah. Some gold. Hold on, I'm gonna get some fucking ammo in case there's a little bit more to do. Yoink. 500,000 points. I guess that that's one way to get over the, the loss of 10,000 points every time. <laughs> Victory, you win. Oh, this was definitely a very... A very interesting one. Very, very interesting. Ow. But... Yeah, I'm definitely going to vote it up. It's bloody great. It's it's really fucking good. That's definitely going to go on a double feature without a doubt. Whoa, really? Wow, I did... Apparently I did great. Oh, Terra Teller is... Is at the top there. Hello! He, he's a he's a mutual friend of... Uh, of what, what one of my friends I met, I met through uh, my YouTube channel, actually. She's great, but yeah, this is one of those one of those maps that's very, very interesting. It's really good, like visually, it's probably the best map I've ever played visually. It's really good. I'm a sucker for that digital style, that that um neon look, where it looks like Tron in that one area. And then when it go when you go into the, inside the digital world, I, I'm I'm a sucker for that shit. I, I really am. It looks amazing to me all the time. But gameplay wise, it is classic Doom combat. I loved it. It was great. The boss fight at the end was very interesting. I quite liked it. I quite liked it. But I definitely felt that the arena the arena stuff was really lacking and really frustrating. It just didn't. It just wasn't as fun as I felt it should be. I feel like I was kind of getting belted constantly with with not much 
fault on my own. Because it is just a wide open area, every enemy has a clear shot at you all the time. And you just didn't really have the weapons for a lot of it. You know, you had some, you had the combat shotgun, you had, you had your uh, heavy assault rifle, you had the chain gun, and the, and of course the hell shot. There probably were more guns that I didn't find. I'm not going to rule that out. But I feel like if there was more ammo, there were more weapons, like more readily available to you. And the arenas were a bit more, you know, well constructed instead of, you know, just flat surfaces. Then it would be a lot of fun because as it was, it just kind of reminded me of um, a lot of the arenas in Shadow Warrior 2013. Where it's just a flat surface, just enemies coming at you everywhere, just belting the crap out of you. And a lot of that just wasn't fun. It just, it just didn't feel fun or satisfying to me. It's a bit of a shame, because visual presentation was phenomenal. But I still felt, I still felt Psychotron was, you know, in terms of gameplay, it was significantly better. In terms of gameplay, I loved the gameplay to Psychotron an awful lot. I was a real sucker for it. So I kind of wish I kind of wish that was replicated in in Antivirus, but it just it just wasn't. The li the limited weapons and ammo just and just just didn't do it for me. And it didn't and it also didn't help when getting health and armor was extremely difficult as well. Especially when it kept belting you with barons and pinkies and mancubi all the time. Yeah. I I don't I don't want to criticize it so much because it really is amazing, but I'm I just have to call it I just have to say it how I see it, you know. So I think it's because I'm I'm more critical because I know JR Crash can do a phenomenal job. And you you definitely did, JR Crash. You did an incredible job with this. I just feel you can do much better. I feel there's quite a lot you can do to improve on this. But, you know, you take you take my crit criticism however you like. You don't you don't have to do the things I say. You don't have to do that. You know. If you feel this is what you want to do with your map and that's your creative decision, I support it. I support it. I'm not gonna tell you how to make your maps, I'm just you know, offering advice on what I think would make it more enjoyable as a whole. So I, I hope that isn't too much of an issue to you, because I, I do think you're an incredible, incredibly talented mapper. But yeah, um, sorry that, that that whole talky session went on for a lot, for a long time. It's really bloody good, definitely play it. It's definitely going on, on the double feature. It pretty much on visuals alone. It goes on the double fe feature without a doubt. So I hope you enjoyed, and bye.